Hello, it is the day of the gig. Although, if you're watching this, it means the gig was at least yesterday, or if not two days ago, or more. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, try and shoot all the build up to the gig, and after the gig, it's a kind of how I'm feeling about things. Um, and all my camera gear is packed, so I'm shooting this on my wobbly phone. Sorry about the wobbles. It is about two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not on stage till 9.30 tonight. Um, it's been like three months or so, trying to work out exactly what I was actually gonna play for this show tonight. And actually that has sort of turned into what I'm actually gonna be as a kind of this, this electronic artist that I'm gonna be. So I'm excited about performing. I'm a little bit nervous because it's just, uh, it's not just, it's an open mic night, but it's a booked open mic night. And a lot of the other artists are sort of the standard open mic night fair of, uh, you know, singer songwriters and stuff like that. My stuff is definitely not singer songwriter type stuff. So hopefully it's gonna go down all right. Um, but first things, I have to pack up all of this equipment. This is all the gear that I am taking. There's been other videos and things like that on this channel, but a few exceptions or additions probably that I don't normally have is this, which is I'm bringing a passive DI box. So all I have to really get from the venue is a couple of XLR leads, some little USB powered lights, just in case it's really dark. And then I'm bringing my kind of condensed media kit um, with the GoPro, with the media mod and my crappy HD camcorder. So uh, I can film the show and then the plan is to use that to then get proper gigs at other places. The GoPro with the media mod will be taking a second feed out the mixer via this thing. One side goes to my monitors, the other side goes to the camera and then the main out will go to front of house via the box. Um, so I should get, hopefully, good audio on the GoPro. Everything else is charged up. I have all the power leads. I got a load of branding and stuff made up as well, so that's gonna come with me. And then hopefully I can fit all this into this flight case. Now the evening, gonna go and load the car up and take a drive to the other side of Sydney, which is the reality of being a performer, I guess. You drag yourself with thousands of dollars worth of equipment across to the other side of the city to play for half an hour. But it's what I have to do. I have to say, I haven't been a guitarist for the longest time, only having this case and this bag is definitely easier. Back from the gig, currently offloading the footage, having a beer and coming down. It went all right. Some things that I thought, number one, the nerves really got the better of me for all the rehearsals I've been doing, it's been 24, 25 minutes worth of music. Tonight I did it in 15, which meant I had to then go and do like a whole extra improvised bit at the end, which was sort of a bit embarrassing, but people seemed to like, but wasn't in any way planned. And it was just lucky that I had some extra stuff left on my OPZ. So I definitely need to, next time I do a show, make sure that I keep my nerves out of it somehow and make sure that I stick by my guns. And I think a big part of it was the fact that actually I'm kind of nervous about playing the actual music that I'm playing because there's some reason that I feel like it's weird and people don't want to hear it and actually I need to get over that and just go out there and own it. So for the next show, 
whenever that may be. I'm gonna definitely lean into being up there and making noise and people wanting to hear it, or even if I don't wanna hear it, I'm the one up there doing it. So yes, good learning experience for those two things. Friends that came seemed to enjoy it, hosts seemed to enjoy it. Uh, had a couple of people come up to me afterwards who I didn't know said they enjoyed it. So I think all in all, a success, but a success that I can learn from. Yeah, um, the whole set I will put up on YouTube next Friday. So keep watching next Friday and you can watch it if you didn't watch it on the night. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. And if you watched on Instagram, thanks for watching the set on Instagram. If you like my stuff, like and subscribe and uh, more stuff coming, including this cool new synth I got called an Elotone Multi-Synth. It's a very cool little box. So uh, watch out for video on that coming up soon. Okay, I'm gonna finish my beer and go to bed. Good night.